All right, guys, check it out. We're here today with the Palette 4870 Sonic Edition. <clears throat> and I think it's fair to say this is probably the coolest 4870 I've seen ever so far. Um, it's pretty ingenious and it's got some interesting features and let me go ahead and just get right into it and show you. They're very cool. So uh, first of all, you can obviously tell that's not a reference cooler. I think this is the first 4870 without a reference cooler. It's got this uh, really cool non-reference design. It's got heat pipes, double fans, comes, uh, looks like it's cooling the memory a little bit better and uh, definitely cooling the GPU much better. I noticed some case temperature drops, which I won't get into just yet, but that is not the only cool feature of this video card. Let me uh, show you what's on this side. I'll give you a few seconds to try to guess what, you, what, that, what that stuff is all there. Uh, I bet you can't figure it out. This right here, that's DisplayPort. So you wanna talk about future proofness? I doubt you even have a monitor that has that yet, but it's there if you need it. DisplayPort is the new protocol, the new cable that they're gonna start using to transfer audio and sound. It's gonna replace DVI and HDMI. It's gonna be really cool and it's brand new and it's on a few products, but this is the first uh, 4870 that I've seen with it or 4800 series card at all. And this over here, I wonder if you can zoom in and see that. Try to zoom in all the way to read what that says. It says normal and turbo. So that's right, it's an overclocking switch. It's a bio switch, it gives you two different profiles. And uh, I'll tell you what, this is a Sonic card. So normal, when it's down, is actually already overclocked. And turbo makes it even further overclocked. So very cool. Very cool card, a lot of cool features. I like the fact that it doesn't have that just regular old vanilla cooler. Uh, it's got this nice, interesting design. So let's get right into the specs. As you know, the 4870, it's been around the block. Everyone's bought them, they're great. Uh, fantastic, it's the RV770, sorry, GPU. Uh, as you know, it's got 512 megabytes of GDDR5, which factory would run at 3600 megahertz, but this one's already running at 3800 megahertz, and that's not even in turbo mode. So you get 800 shaders, you get dual link DVIs, it will do 2560 by 1600 multiple monitor support obviously and uh, let's go right into the specs and uh, let me tell you about just the little specs so stock 4870 is 750 on the core and 750 on the shader 36 on the memory in sonic mode which is normal little normal on the back it's uh, 750 for the core 750 for the shaders or the ALUs or the processing units or probably like eight other names you could probably call them I call them Shaders, I think that's the best name to call them. From now on, I'm gonna call them shaders. So your shaders, all 800 of them are 750 megahertz, and your memory is at 3800 megahertz. That's the effective data rate because it's quad pumped DDR5. So if you wanna get the actual megahertz, it's uh, 950. It comes factory at nine, this is 950, and now let's talk about when you flip the switch and kick it into turbo mode. Turbo mode is 775 for the core clock. It's 30, I'm sorry, 4000 for the memory, which is a thousand megahertz. So when you multiply by four, because quad pump, that's 4,000 effective data rate. That's insane. And also the shaders stay at the same at 750. So it does give you a nice little boost. The only gripe I kind of had was, I guess, the switch. It is kind of cool, but this card ran so well in turbo mode that uh, it was fantastic. This reference, non-reference cooler is fantastic. Uh, let me talk to you a little about temperature. Even in that turbo mode where it's kicked up all the time, um, it ran cooler than a stock 4870. So that's why I kind of don't think the switch is necessary. I think they should just crank as a turbo all the time and not even have the switch. You have to turn off the computer to flip the switch and then turn it back on. So it's kind of pointless. I figure they should just leave it on turbo mode because it did, it was cooler. Uh, so I'll tell you what, a reference 4870 does about 65 degrees on load. Uh, and this was actually doing about 57.3, which is not bad at all. And that was one of those little infrared beep beep pointer LCD things that I have. Uh, let me talk to you about, in case you don't really know about the 4870, uh, I'm just gonna load you up with the rest of the specs just so you know. Uh, it is Vista certified. You do get Crossfire supports. If you are on more than one in Crossfire or up to three in Crossfire X, you can do that. It does have HDMI support, which is using the Avivo uh, decoder from ATI, which is pretty much for running your Blu-rays and stuff. It does have HDCP, which is high bandwidth. Uh, what is HDCP again? High bandwidth digital content protection, there we go. Um, so that's on there, that's gonna let you stream your Blu-rays that are right protected to your TV or onto the computer. You get DirectX 10, which is using Shader Model 4.0, it's actually DirectX 10.1 is the latest one, which uh, not too many games are using, but it doesn't matter. You get OpenGL 2.0, which is fantastic, and uh, it's pretty good, and I'll tell you what, even with two fans, 
you dropped about seven degrees Celsius in temperature and you only gain about five decibels, which is something that you really won't notice, uh, you know, in regular operation with your CPU cooler, your external fans, all that stuff happening on the outside, you probably won't even notice those five decibels. So this is a really excellent card from Palette or Palit. How do you pronounce that? You have an idea? I like Palette. Palette? I think Palette's good. Palette, Palette, whatever. It's got a, frog. yeah, frog, cyborg frog brand. Check the box out, it's pretty cool. It's got a cyborg frog on it, and it looks really, I don't know, it looks actually kind of good, like a noble frog that was forced to jump into this cyborg body to defeat alien terrorists. Um, very cool product, if you have any questions on it, email me, if not, just buy it. I'll uh, see you guys next time. For more information on the Palette Radeon HD 4870 Sonic Edition video card, go to CompUSA.com and type in P458-4870 into the search box. Or you can always call us 24 hours a day, 7 days a week at 1-800-COMP-USA.